What is going on, everybody? Of course, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Now, I want to quickly talk about something, and that is how I pretty much ruined my daily uploads. So for that, I apologize. Uh, I might not upload on Sundays very consistently. That's because I'm out here trying to spend time with my family. But when it comes to the weekdays or even a Saturday, I try to upload as much as I can, whether it's just one video or multiple videos a day. Um, I know it might be overwhelming, especially with me playing so many different video games. But my whole thing is, is when it comes to content, I do take it very serious. So the fact that I missed one of these weekdays, it did bother me for a little bit. But uh, as excuses go, I, I feel like I pulled something in my back or pinched a nerve or I don't know what happened, man. But for the last couple of days, I've been in just this constant pain. Like even right now, sitting in my chair, it's just it's just pain, man. Uh, I don't know if it's my age creeping up on me, but whatever it is, dude, it just sucks. So anyways, I just wanted to apologize for not really giving it my all these last couple of days. To be honest, these last couple of weeks... Uh, to be fair, I've been a little discouraged, but it's not going to stop me from, you know, grinding these videos out. And Star Wars Survivor is right around the corner. So I'm trying to grind out this, finish this level one challenge so we have time for that. Super amazing game. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm a huge nerd. I, I love Star Wars. I love the MCU, comic books, superheroes. I love it all, man. I'll dip my toes in pretty much anything. Anyways, I really hope you enjoy this. If you do, a like, comment, sub would, of course, mean the world. As always, I love y'all, and I hope you guys enjoy. Peace. So I know that the stun build I was using for Atreus and these other episodes were really good. But I wanted to come up with something different to see if I can still make it very good. That uh, runic attack is just... It's too good, man. <laughs> Okay, we'll see about these enemies. Or that he caused the desolation in Mexico. Or that he had all the giant skills. Am I missing anything? Uh, lots actually. Try to get him off of the map. So this is only going to be super effective if... God. Lady Thor. That's not her name. Throod. That's what it is. It, this will only work uh, with the Hex Arrows if she keeps using her lightning to stun them. So her goal is to... Our first shot will do significantly more damage. We're going to shoot him. We're going to use this and then shoot it again. Because we don't even need to. There will be more. No, not like this. He's gonna be fully stunned. Uh, yep. Now that they're all stunned. Man, there's so many. I'm gonna get rid of the shield person. We're gonna cancel it to save some rage. We should be able to stun this guy. Look how much that rage just filled up. We don't have any burdens on, on Atreus, so... So anything that we get is what we would normally get. I actually been enjoying the burden run for the most part. I wasn't enjoying the last episode. Dude, that was actually infuriating. But uh, the, the challenge is fun. The one thing I absolutely love about this burden run is I've come up with different combos, whether they're cheesy combos or just cool different things that I normally wouldn't have even tried. You know, like for example, uh, I'll use my spear and then kind of suck them all in and use the swords to just chop them all up in that same spot. Um, I thought was, to me, like the most useful strat that I had came up with for this because man, some of these some of these challenges can actually be super hard and you can do it without necessarily cheesing it. It's just like how much sanity are you willing to lose, you know? 
Into a group of Hellwalkers. Let's get them! <laughs> Cancel this. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. You wanna keep him juggled? But you can't run away. pretty but we got it done so playing like this is also very good uh you just need to rely on the ai which i mean if you guys play video games that could be that could mean anything pretty much they're goners No! Yeah, I should be able to stun him, yeah. Get that rage up. Cause now we're gonna have to fight the revenants and those aren't gonna be fun. Okay, cool, cool. Let's see. How do I do zero damage? I'm frozen. Oh, they're all gone. Watch this. Big, 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 big. I'm hoping that if I leave these rage stones, that I'll be able to pick them up with Kratos. We need to get rid of the projectile thrown ones, like these ones right here. They need to go. I'm probably gonna die a bunch when we switch to Kratos, because these level 1 enemies don't mess around. Big Daddy's turn. Oh, okay. <laughs> Told you that was me just messing up a bit. This guy here. 
I'm gonna show you what I was talking about earlier here in a second. Oh my goodness, they're relentless. So we're gonna throw this. Get them all kind of grouped together. Use this. Same thing, group them together. Let the swords do their work. Rage. I didn't want to grab that one, that one was already weak. Ah, oh, dude, this is gonna be so challenging. Go ahead and grab this guy. I just got hit and died. Not bad. Keep the enemies away if you can. I can. Head off the map. Oh god, the shielded people are actually going to be a huge problem. Oh 
My last rage. Yes, sir. Right. It wasn't like super hard. I made that way harder than I needed to. I kind of just juggled all three of them. That was pretty cool. Got for the spear, dude. Ah, dude, that's it's pretty cheesy. What just happened to me? It's like you dodge, you die, you block, you die. <laughs> like what? Get off of the map. <laughs> Sometimes this game just pisses me off, dude. I hit a ricochet because I was out here spamming my attacks, and then I couldn't move for three seconds. I, I couldn't dodge, I couldn't... Ah, oh, dude. This game is so aggravating sometimes. That's what happened last time. We need to get them all lined up. Please, just hit him. I know that won't finish him, but like... It'll help. Okay, okay. All right, okay. We got it, literally right here. It's in the bag. It's in the bag, I said. It's in the bag. It's in the bag. Switched weapons, cause I'm dumb. Thank you, Atreus. Jump down that man's back. Come here, buddy, buddy, buddy. See you later. And now we got the Traveler. This guy shouldn't be too hard. Any one-on-one -on -one fight should honestly be done kind of easily. Although I'm probably going to die because I'm playing like ass right now. I dodged that probably like a second too soon, huh? Oh, that's
Oh, that burns damage, damage inflicted. We got beat down. Juggled. you perfect time it like if you don't perfect time it you're gonna die and you gotta do it 10 times in a row gotta perfect time it <laughs> you know what game does perfect timing the best Sekiro like this the whole like dodge parry dodge parry at all specific times shows you how great Sekiro really is it really does run out of this way instead of just trying to parry everything. Oh, perfect dodge. Perfect dodge. Perfect dodge. Perfect dodge. Get ready, we're gonna have to do it like 12 more times, guys. God, I... I don't know. I don't like the whole you have to perfect dodge 12 things in a row to to beat the encounter. Perfect dodge. Okay, get hit because I can't see a single thing. We finish it right here. Perfect dodge. Perfect dodge. Oh, I didn't perfect dodge that one, so now we gotta restart all over. Do, do your slams. 
Nah, you're not supposed to go up there. Okay. He's got to do his slams anyway. That's right, we're rolling in fucking slow motion right now. Dude, it's not even hard, bro. It's the amount of times that you have to parry and dodge. And if you don't, if you mess up once, you're practically dead, man. You know, it's like, it's... This is why uh, I think Sekiro is one of the greatest combat games ever created. And, and trust me, I'm like one of the biggest fans of God of Lore. Once I started playing Sekiro, like that parrying timing, that all, the deflecting, everything in that game made so much more sense to me than this. Whereas like, for example, you get rewarded for perfect parrying in, in Sekiro. There's a lot, and each enemy is different. In this one, it's like, you just have to do it to avoid damage. You know, there's nothing beneficial out of it other than not taking damage. And it's just like a timing thing. And it's like you have to do it 25 plus times, sometimes like 50 plus times in a fight during these challenges. And it's like, it's just so discouraging to want to play like that constantly because I don't want to sit there and time everything. You know, I'm trying to come up with my own combos and maybe fight it a different way. Every time I fight that, like that that boss i don't want to do it anymore because it's just it seems to be the same thing over and over and over again no matter the weapons you have or you know like it's just i don't know it is what it is i guess No way I didn't get that. Watch out for those shock Oh, I didn't get it. I didn't think I got it. This is actually one of my screenshots right here because it's just so badass. <laughs> 